my name is Cole Morrison. I, uh, I'm a musician from Manchester, Connecticut. Right now we're in good old Beller's Music downtown Manchester. I've been working here for about a year. I'm an active musician, performer, producer, and uh, working in the shop. I started playing guitar when I kind of just got bored one day and then um, just kind of absorbed all my time. I've got no problem with that. I'm Sarah Cleveland, I'm Cole's mom. I'm Alvin Morrison, I'm Cole's dad. This is where we live. Music has always been really, really big in my family since I was a kid. I mean, I was just born into music, and so when Coleman came along, he was just kind of born into it too. But when he was 10, he decided he was gonna teach himself how to play guitar, and he would eat breakfast with his guitar and he would do his homework with his guitar. I was always shocked that he didn't take the guitar to bed with him. I've just never really been great with words in general and talking, and um, I've always had an issue with voicing my uh, opinions and how I feel and everything. Being able to play music and have somebody think, oh, I, like, I get that, I understand it, means a lot to me. I woke up on Valentine's Day 2018, and um, my jaw was just really tight in one end. I sent him to school anyway, you know, gave him a couple of Tylenol, said you'll be fine. And within 45 minutes, he called me at work and he said, I can't stand up. I don't, I don't have balance. I just felt the hearing go lower and lower and lower. And so I thought, all right, maybe it's just like clogged up. I, I don't know if there could be that kind of issue. When that first came about, you texted me and I'm thinking, oh, he's got a cold, you know, it was February and got him in right away. It's not like a whole lot of time went by. And then he had an MRI. I mean, it was... They wanted to make sure there wasn't a brain right tumor. A, like right it flipped away. our world upside down. We were like, you get this perfectly healthy kid mm. who's this amazing being on stage and totally self-confident. And all of a sudden somebody says, oh, maybe there's a tumor in there or something. We should look. And so in the course of one week, he goes from having issues hearing to you're, you're, you're deaf now in that ear basically diagnosed me with a unilateral hearing loss. I just remember thinking, okay, like that, that's it. I've got an audio-based uh, career line here, really. And that's, that's done. So I just <clears throat> spent um, a lot of time on the couch with my bad ear pressed up against it, thinking, all right, maybe I won't be able to hear anyways. I think the concern right away with Cole was his mood changed. He's the funny kid. He's the, 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 he's the, the happy, light. he's yeah. the happy, he's the light, yeah. He wouldn't touch a guitar. This is the kid that would walk around the house with a guitar strapped to his back to go to the fridge. He just wanted to shut everything out. And in his words, it, it, was, it was over. And uh, it was just really rough trying to get back into music after hearing all these stories of people losing their hearing and then their hearing's gone. There's no comeback for it. We would sit in my room every night playing Uno together just to sit and have conversations and, and open up dialogue. Google became my best friend, right? Mm -hmm. I mean, I'm, this is my kid, so I'm like, all of a sudden, something has gone wrong and I wanted to know right. what it was that went wrong and so I learned all these big words and I Googled mm -hmm. everything I could find, but what I couldn't find is a way to fix it, a right. way to make it any better. They didn't suggest a hearing aid right away. He finished up March to June uh, in school without uh, any aid. And so I believe it was in June or July yeah. that they finally had us go in. And, and again, we're just following doctor's, you know, doctor's orders. And you're gonna go in and he's gonna get a hearing aid. And we didn't question anything about it. Just the fact that, okay, this is what's best for him. I always thought that hearing aids were the ones that you ordered off that infomercial online, where they tell you that your grandfather can hear you from across the living room and it's a dream come true and they're bulky and... I'm thinking of the old uh, over the ear and... <laughs> Big. <laughs> you know, tan color. She pulled out this little tiny thing. I was like, yeah. that's gonna give my kid hearing back. This is yeah. gonna be fabulous, right? They would set the sound, here's your levels. Right. See you later. <laughs> Can I adjust it myself, right? He's a musician, he knows all the levels and he yeah. wants to be able to make it better and he couldn't you and know, it was frustrating. It was, it was expensive and it was, it was prescribed. When Cole started uh, using the other hearing aid, the first hearing aid. And he just was not experiencing the type of experience it was that better, he wanted. But... So again, you, you start digging. And so I reached out to Phonak, uh, the hearing like me experience. There's this community. And all of a sudden you had this, this big partner, you know. This, this, family, this, there was somebody this, to help you. This, this, you had people on your team all yeah. of a sudden that knew what they were talking about. And focusing in on 
a teen with hearing loss, a teen musician with hearing loss. And it's almost like they understood things that the internet didn't understand, the, the specialists right. didn't understand. We didn't understand. And Phonak actually put us in contact with uh, an audiologist, which he's with now, that is incredible. She is very insightful. She was very friendly. Yeah, she's, the, awesome. she's local. I don't know why we couldn't find her. And they said, oh, here's, here's another kind of hearing aid. Try this. I got fitted for a Marvel, and I just had no idea that this kind of technology and that kind of size was available and an option to me, really. Cole bounced back quick. And what helped Cole? Cole helped Cole. It to didn't be, feel like it was honest, quick. It, feel like it, it felt like oh, it took sure. forever, but. But to be honest, I mean, that was from within. And yeah. all of a sudden he starts throwing out names of musicians that have lost their hearing and kept on going. I'm thinking, okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and that's when we knew Cole was back. The first time I played guitar with the Marvels in wasn't acoustic. And so when you're holding a guitar, really like the sound is gonna come from right here, which is right there. So I couldn't hear. And so the first time I had a Marvel on, I could hear my guitar again, which was really nice because before I just kind of had to guess, okay, my fingers are in the right place and I can kind of hear it, must sound good. But now I can hear my playing, which is just a game changer. We are at The Hungry Tiger in Manchester, Connecticut. Nice little hometown uh, place to be, place to play a show, eat some food. Tonight, we're uh, just trying to get as many local people as we can out, friends, family, everyone in between. And uh, we're gonna play some songs and hope that people like the way they sound.